welcome to marine tech hub uh, today i would like to explain about woodward's governor uh, this woodward's governor can be used on copd system on the turbine uh, you would have seen that in our case here we are using it for the auxiliary engine that is a generator here very important for senior engineers and uh, superintendents who are watching my videos uh, please make a note of the following things which you should have uh, one important spare is the governor motor which is mounted on top of the woodwards you can see that uh, most of the time what happens is uh, this motor uh, will be working but maybe sluggish so we have small bearing in that so make sure you get this bearing normally this bearing is uh, of different size so order and keep at least one spare so in case of an emergency this governor not working properly that means this motor is sluggish or not moving properly that is one point the other small things for the third engineer is uh, make sure the oil level is maintaining and uh, one more important thing is when you lift up this governor there is a bearing at the bottom uh, where it is attached to the gear so i have shown in one of the videos how to overall this bearing so make sure if you are having that routine get this done change the oil regularly as per the instruction manual and one more thing what happened was uh, when this governor went for overhauling and they brought it back we just mounted it normally in normal generator we mount and it starts working here nowadays what they have done is they have configured this governor with a, without configuration this governor is not going to work properly so we have to attach the computer and uh, feed in all the parameters of the generator that is uh, all the specification need to be fed once that is fed then only it will work so you should know how to connect to the computer and do the configuration so this was the problem faced so i am just trying to help the engineers to make sure that you you should have the program with you otherwise you land up in big problem so make sure whenever you are landing this governor that you have this program and uh, in our case the program was sent later on by the maker so we did this so this is for everybody so i hope you understood so i am i'm just trying to play the video so listen to the video carefully and if you have any doubt you can message me and if you like the video subscribe have a nice day i'm playing the video now thank you welcome to marine tech hub today i'll be explaining you about the woodwards governor and what went wrong so one generator was running we started another generator and after starting we found the voltage was all right 440 voltage generator everything was okay so we wanted to uh, synchronize and put this gener generator in parallel so while we using the governor control to increase and decrease the frequency was not going up or down so then we check what went wrong normally uh, by experience actually what happens is the governor has got a electric motor here this electric motor has to rotate when you are increasing or decreasing uh, in our case this was not happening so by experience normally you should have one electric motor spare with you so you change with a spare electric motor then afterwards you have to fine tune the governor by a computer the software is there so you should have a spare electric motor this is the tuning part you can do the tuning and uh, you should have a spare electric motor here this is very important on board ship you should have a spare electric motor for the governor here so if you have any doubt regarding this you can always message me i hope you understood electrical officers on board please check you should have at least one spare governor and